Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Newcastle SBC uh, for Nick Pope. Uh, this card actually has five star skills, which I think is more for the fun aspect than it is for anything else because uh, the only person I could see actually using the five star skills is someone like Ozilla, you know, doing those like little uh, Instagram clips or something. Um, so yeah, most of it is obviously me taking regular shots, right? And then... Uh, I'll probably hop on Gu's account to do some skill moves here and there to see um, to see how well he does it. But I mean, the skill moves is not going to be like crazy important because that's for you to do some crazy stuff, obviously. Right. Uh, player traits with the card. He has saves with feats traits. He has comes for crosses and goalkeeper long throw uh, comes for crosses is actually very helpful because you can use uh, a sweeper keeper instruction on the card in order for him to actually push out to uh, be able to get the ball in those types of situations so some really good stuff there um in-game uh, player uh, or in-game attributes uh this card is going to be on the basic chemistry style so we're gonna have to take a look and see what he looks like on the basic chemistry style so he is let's see here okay so basic chemistry style is going to make him essentially a perfect goalkeeper because kicking is like outside of the whole actual goalkeeping thing right Handling at 99, diving 99, reflexes 99, positioning 99. Uh, so some very good stuff there for sure. The pace on the card is actually not that bad. It's actually pretty decent. The acceleration being high uh, is always a super helpful thing to have uh, for these types of cards. So um, yeah, with Pope, um, I'm just going to be you know switching between me and Giyu, basically just trying out different shot angles to see what he kind of does in each situation, shooting animations, right? Right. Uh, at the end of the day, goalkeepers are always going to be kind of weird, but the certain animations that some goalkeepers do, it sometimes saves your life, right? Because with a card like this, again, being a six foot tall, six foot six player, usually the tall guys are kind of crazy. And with a card like this having perfect stats, essentially, it's going to be very interesting to look at. So, okay, so we're going to try out uh, power across first and finesse, and we're just going to keep uh, changing it up constantly. Okay, touch power across okay so it doesn't save that animation is kind of like hands at the bottom over here from the power strike so a little bit weird okay so over here now so it doesn't save that one either that's a rushed one so the goalkeeper is actually moving so when the goalkeeper moves a little bit it actually creates a higher consistency for your striker cross okay so saves that one that's a low percent strike there's nothing like interesting about what i'm doing there Okay, so regular finesse shot from Yuri doesn't save that one either. That one is a really weird animation, actually, because I feel like he should move a little bit more. It's kind of like in the middle, you know, but it's a good finesse shot, I guess, too, because finesse shots are like kind of crazy right now. Okay, so regular power again. That's a high percentage, so I don't expect him to save those. We score that one too okay that's the regular power so what we're going to do now is we're going to try finesse all roll finesse he saves that one finesse shots are not a consistent way of scoring by the ways okay so take that into consideration in this game there's like three different shots you take finesse shot from outside he saves those are low percentage as well this one is a higher percentage not that one. That shooting animation is not it. Must be more out of 45 from the actual bottom or left side. Touch a touch here. There we go. Regular shots. He just saves it. The low percentage ones he's saving so far. Okay, so that's to be here. That's the one. More power. I have to put more power, but he saves that one too. Regular save there. Not enough power from the distance. Yeah, so that's the outside foot. We missed that one. Our strike across. That's a different animation. Still score. Ness. Nothing there, too. From regulars. But across. Okay. Palms it away for the corner kick. I'm going to try here. I'm going to do a corner kick right here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's typical. All goalkeepers react to the uh, left stick touch on the bottom side. That was like a tap shot to see if he saves it to the sides. from a distance yeah all low percentage the ones that he's saving it's all low percentage yeah that one's a decent one but it goes away get an angle here yeah regular power goes in saves a finesse shot from a distance missed that one he does an animation to let it go Upwards, shot across. Okay, saves it in the middle. Shot across there. Didn't score. Shot across. Okay. I'm going to ask you to put some pressure now. Good save. over the bar from us but his animation is like just going backwards finesse shots from a distance nowadays like there's players that are crazy at hitting them so okay so that one was going to be like this again so that was going to go in if it wasn't for the ai block yeah finesse shots goes in near post okay <laughs> saves that one He's just, he's saving all the ones that I expect him to save, honestly. Yeah, that's typical animations. Most goalkeepers do that. Yeah, saves that one too. Golden Bappe, lol. <laughs> uh, geez, too funny. I get a shot. Wow, Marquinhos with the posting in, eh? Yeah. So the long distance finesse shots, like regardless of his height, like if I have like crazy players, they're most likely gonna score if you hit if you time it correctly. Shot cancel, shot. I was gonna go in. Yeah, nothing special there too. That doesn't save that one too. Try the chip shots. Chips that one away. Good save. Yeah, it, it's he's saving all the ones I expect him to. Yeah, typical grabs. Yeah, that one goes in too. That one goes in as well. I'm going to tell him to push. Yeah, so it goes to his stomach from the push. So when you push the goalkeeper, if you see that your opponent pushes it, the chip shot is easier to hit because they, they dive more often, right? So it's just something that you have to take into consideration. I just want to see what he chooses to do in these situations. Yeah, we get that one too. Yeah, I wanted to try those ones like more close range, controlled. That one he grabs, it's an easy one. Yeah, that one he should be saving as well. If he doesn't save that one, that's really bad. That's a super low percentage chip. Yeah, doesn't save that one either. That's a regular one. I have to put more power. So when it's when they're not moving, you got to put more power. When they move, you don't have to as much because it's a forced animation. Right back to me. I ask you to put like a little bit of pressure for the cross bodies, like there. Yeah, that's a low percentage as well because the goalkeeper is too close. So you see how when he pushes, you can chip him there. Near post. Yeah, gotta shoot that far post there. Yeah, so if I have players that have crazy finesse shots, I score these. That's a save from him. That's me putting too much power. A little bit of push, we score. 
Okay, so the last thing that we have to do is test out skill moves. Uh, skill moves, we just I'm just going to show you guys the animation choices because right now, uh, this goalkeeper, he's just like a goalkeeper that gives you links in your team. Um, but I think the main purpose of getting him in your squad is going to be the fact that you're just going to mess around and do five star skills. Like I said, it's like a it's like an Ozilla player for those Instagram clips. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I'll do like I'll do the main ones. Uh, El Elastico, McGeady cancel, you know, that kind of stuff and see uh, see what he actually ends up doing here. OK, so McGeady cancel is this one. That's the McGeady cancel. So he can do it, but he's slow. L1 Elastico. L1 Elastico. Right? So those things are, are more helpful to have if you're trying to have some fun and trying to open up the space. Because honestly, there's moments where it's like, it's helpful if you're like over here and you just like, you want to have some fun, you kind of mess around, you know, do that. You totally do that. Save right there. Roulette. Touch. Touch across. There we go. What other ones is like the main ones? Like there's like the rainbow, like the rainbow would be like this. She does the side there. I don't I don't think rainbow's a five, though. I think it's a four. I think the other one is a five, maybe. Ah. We could try like a flick up. A little flick up like that. I'm going to push him with a goalkeeper here. We get concede a penalty because he commits. Yeah, like I said, I think the main purpose is like him having. Oh, let's go here and then dive. Oh, it's a post. Okay, so he actually commits into that. It'll push and stop. He did all the extra stuff because of this game's meta. So he doesn't know what's going to happen, you know? He's doing the shock cancels and stuff. Hit that. There we go. We'll push. Scores that one too. Okay. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the SBC Pope card. So uh, definitely an SBC that exists for you to have fun with that gives you those certain links, right? Because with Pope, uh, giving you those Newcastle links, English links, Premier League links uh, while working with the five star skills is for people to have fun with and to be honest, be a little bit toxic in the in their own defensive area, because obviously if you can do some skill moves with him, have some fun, that's going to be the whole vibe of this card, right? But obviously for goalkeeper reviews, we're not just going to be skilling against a whole team because that's just not something that you're going to be able to do um, in the game in general. I mean, you could, but you're going to have to be in like the lower divisions to be able to do that, right? Um, but yeah, the skill moves, it's one of those things where he can do it's not as agile, but it's just he can do it, right? If you're given the opportunity to. So if you want to have some fun with that, you can. Uh, I didn't see anything crazy special about the goalkeeping. It's not like his height was like super, super helpful for like certain finesse shot angles. The ones that he did save, I expect him to save. Uh, if I had players that, you know, have crazy finesse shot traits, really good shooting, they're going to score mo a majority of these opportunities against him regardless. Um, so it's just one of those like, OK, goalkeepers to get. You get him for the links, you get him for the five star skills. That's the whole variable uh, that you'd be working with with a card like this. I still think like the best goalkeepers in the game is probably like, uh, honestly, it's probably like an icon moments Vandersar. Like that's usually like the go to Vandersar is usually an absolute beast. But then the other goalkeepers like they're going to be random at times anyway. Sometimes you just get them just because of the links that you have in your team. Right. But Vandersar is usually that guy that uh, does some pretty saucy stuff when it comes to making certain saves, uh, saving opportunities, right? So, uh, but yeah, generally speaking with uh, Pope, what you want to do with him is obviously tell him to come for crosses. Telling him to come for crosses, guys, is not special for me to show you because with the trait, he's tall, he's going to be able to get them. If you double tap the triangle or the Y button, your goalkeeper will push into the area to try to grab the ball and he'll be perfectly fine at doing that, right? That's going to be a helpful thing to work with if you notice that your opponent is crossing the ball consistently, right? So that's going to be the main thing with this height. But when it comes to like long distance strikes and stuff, finesse shots, he may save some sometimes, but if you hit the right finesse shots, they're still going to go in because they're very, very effective in the game nowadays. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. That's the point of the goalkeeper reviews, guys, is that like Vanishar, I, I when I when I checked out Vanishar, like the, the moments and stuff, like that's like their own tiers. I don't know what he's like nowadays because they do gameplay changes and sometimes it changes the goalkeepers. Like I remember Donnarumma being horrible at one point. A patch came out and he was actually decent again. Um because they did like goalkeeper adjustments, but that was like a while ago. So, uh, but yeah, 
Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.